With the iOS 11.3 update, Apple has added a battery health feature into the battery section of the Settings app. This will allow us to see how the battery in our devices might decline over time. On the left here I have an iPhone 10 that's only a few months old. On the right is an iPhone 6s which is a couple years old. Here in battery health, which is in beta, the iPhone 10 is at 100%, so its capacity is the same as the day that it was purchased. The iPhone 6s, on the other hand, is at 97%, so the battery has slightly less capacity than it did originally. This sort of decline will happen with every lithium ion battery over time. It will depend on usage as to how quickly the battery loses capacity. If the battery in your device has declined to a point that performance and reliability might be affected, iOS will apply performance management measures. This can actually slow down the phone's processor and other functions in order to save the battery and keep the iPhone running. Apple got in some hot water for not disclosing this power management or throttling in previous versions of iOS, but it is done for a good reason. It is now possible to disable the performance management if you like, but I wouldn't recommend it. In this next screen, we can see the warning that's given if the iPhone has had to automatically shut down because performance management had been disabled. For most, having the iPhone run a little slower will be preferable to it suddenly shutting down, so I wouldn't recommend disabling performance management if your phone needs it. If your battery has lost a significant amount of capacity and iOS needs to run performance management, you should consider having the battery replaced, which can be done by Apple for $29, or upgrading your iPhone. Remember, battery health can be found in the Settings app and the Battery section on iPhones that are running iOS 11.3 and later. Learn much more about all the new features in iOS 11 in the full tutorial available at themacu.com.